I'm Sun Feng Xie. I'm the first year PhD student in AIS. Today I'm going to briefly introduce my recent research project uh, titled Critical Audit Matter Modifications Affect Investors Evidence from Taiwan. And I set two, uh, three research questions. The first one, what's the implementation situation of mandating accounting firms to communicate claims of their clients in their auditors reports in Taiwan? And the second one, do auditors of firms with larger economic changes modify CAM disclosures more than auditors of firms with smaller economic changes? And the third one, do investors use the information revealed by CAM modifications? What I measure, what I uh, try to use ma uh, measure the CAM disclosure is called uh, cosine similarity. Uh, textual documents can be transformed into vectors and cosine similarity can be calculated by any two vectors. The more similar textual documents, the more similar vectors, the higher cosine similarity. And um, I collect auditors' reports and control variables information via XBRL, and I collect all Taiwan listed companies' information on fiscal year 2016 and 17 because uh, camp disclosures are mandated from starting from fiscal year 2016 in Taiwan. And all uh, 826 observations are contained in the following regression analysis. And I set these two regression models to fit my second and third research questions. Um, following prior literature, I choose five basic financial ratios um, to measure firms' economic changes. And I also controlled for uh, the change of word count and sentence account and the number of CAM disclosures in auditors' reports. And the uh, second model, I, uh, also following prior literature, uh, the dependent variable is said to be the absolute value of cumulative abnormal return. And I set three days uh, window, minus one and plus one window for the financial reporting filing date. And over than half of companies have two CAM disclosures item in their auditor's reports. And PwC and KPMG and whole observation have statistically significant uh, different numbers of CAMs in their auditor's reports. And three industry have significant number of CAM disclosures in their auditors' reports for both years. And two industry have higher CAM disclosure number than other industries. And this industry classification is based on the definition by Taiwan Stock Exchange Corporation. And revenue inventory accounts receivable are top three accounting items shown in the title of CAM disclosures in these two years, re auditor's reports. And about the regression analysis result, uh, the change of word count and the number of CAM disclosures in auditor's report and uh, change of leverage level is uh, ha have positive correlated with cosine similarity value. And the sentence count of CAM disclosure and the size change and whether big four or not have a negative significant correlation with cosine similarity of camps. And about the uh, market reaction, uh, cosine similarity and the change of sentence account of camp disclosures and the leverage level have positive correlation with the absolute value of car and the level of size have significantly negative correlation with car. So uh, to answer my research questions, the first one, the change of leverage level and the change of the size of companies may trigger CAM modifications in terms of cosine similarity. And CAM modifications have positive correlation with the cumulative abnormal return magnitude. Uh, it may imply that investor use the information revealed by cosine similarity.
of CAMS disclosures. Thank you.